Hey everyone, it's Karen here. I am in my kitchen because I have a little bit better light. Uh, let's see, I finished this Traveler's Notebook today. I will have this on my Etsy shop tomorrow morning. So I've got to go through after I make this video and figure out a price for this. Um, these are made out of faux leather. This is a burgundy color. And I did do um, stitching. Well, I did actually put these two pieces together, but this is machine stitching. Um, and I'll show you the inside in just a second. I have mine here, and I wanted you to see how big you can make these. These are made to be chunky. Uh, I, I really like the chunky little traveler's notebook, so that's why I made the spine um, one and three quarter. So you can put more at and you can put a lot more in here. So this is just kind of like getting you started. And I've, they're really fun to make. So I thought I would try to make this one and maybe if it goes well, I might make a few more. All right, this leather is a uh, faux leather, burgundy, and it has a little bit of, I don't know, not texture to it, but you can kind of, see it does look a little like leather. It's smooth. It feels a little bit like vinyl. It's really soft and bendable. <clears throat> this fits really good in your purse. That's why I have one. I, I fit this in my pocketbook and it's great. I love it. I take it everywhere. This one is a little bit heavy, but you can tell I have every <laughs> a lot of stuff shoved in here. All right, so let me go through here and show you. Uh, I do have four elastic cords in here. And if you want a different color, you know, you can always change that out. And this is just an elastic band right here. Um, I did not decorate this all the way, but I did put some things in here. You have two pockets that are sewn on the front cover. So you can put whatever you want to in there. That's just a little paper door they stuck in there. Um, I didn't really want to put anything in here because I'm going to leave that up to you guys to decorate. And then you have your dashboard. Now this is laminated. And when you laminate dashboards, sometimes they want to flop open because of the thickness of the paper, the lamination paper. So I did put a paper clip on here to kind of um, get it to sit down so it <laughs> won't be so flopped open. But this is real cute. I have one in mine. I don't know if, I, yeah, I have it in front. I have this one too. I just think this is cute. So the clip, paper clip, everything that you see in here will come with it. So you have your dashboard and you can add any little things you want to on here. I do have a pocket on the mine that I put like coupons and whatever I need to use for that day. And this is kind of a family themed traveler's notebook. I got the scrapbook pad from Michaels. So if you want to add anything extra that matches it, you can get the paper pad from Michaels. All right, and this first insert would be your monthly calendar. The insert covers are made from sheet protectors. And I like using sheet protectors because the top is open and you can take these out and move them around or you can put pictures in them. See, like in mine, uh, well, I probably can't get to it now. <laughs> but anyway, I like to put family pictures in. So you can um, do that in this one also. Um, the covers are not attached to the inserts. So, for instance, I'm just going to show you here. If you are finished with this and you want to get another calendar or you want to make another calendar, they have a lot of calendars on Etsy. Um, you might want to use a different style calendar. This is the one that I made for this one. And when I put these together, they are not um, printed on both sides. I actually print these on one piece of paper and I tape them together. So if I have two pieces, they are taped in between each side because it just makes it thicker. Even though you're using 24, 28 pound paper, it just, I like it, it makes it thicker and it comes out like a little book. 
as you can see, and I just put washi tape down the edge of it. Um, that's the way I like to make mine. That's the way they are in my little, I call them planner, but that's how I have it set up. So you still have your cover in here that you can keep. And I'm just, this is your monthly, so you have your, your whole month's view right there, and then on back of that month, you can write down whatever you need to for that, what, you know, appointments or whatever you want to for that month. And then it starts the second month, and then you have the same thing. And honestly, I did not count how many months I had in here. I think it's up to, let's see, that's one, I'm going to lose count, I know I am. <laughs> So that's one, and this would be two, and this would be three, four, five, six, seven, seven months. Okay, so that's what I put in there. I knew I, I believe I made enough to go to December and this would be your back cover for that monthly insert and I've just put some embellishments in here and each insert has washi tape on the edge because when I make the sheet protector covers you have to close up one side of it so if it starts coming off you can always put more tape over top or take this off and put a different color and right here you have a little coffee embellishment. You can put it anywhere. I don't really know what you could do with it. I hope I'm showing you the right thing, the right view, because I think I was over here. But you could put that wherever you want to. I just think it's really cute and it matches everything. This is the back of your dashboard. You can put whatever you want to right there. And it, it's just from a piece of scrap paper. It's got some quotes on there. It's really cute. And on the back of your dashboard, you have your monthly tracker or your habit tracker. Most people call them. I like, I just use monthly tracker. And I'll probably include at least two of these. Well, you know, you just write down whatever you want to track. And I don't, I'm sh sure most of you use these, but you just put the day down in the top box. So you put Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. So that's the way you keep up, but I'm pretty sure most people use these. And you have a piece of acetate. This is from Michaels. This is a folder, and this is in between your monthly view and your weekly view calendar, which this is all on your first band. So in between your monthly and weekly, you have a little folder. And I did leave most of these cord pieces long so you can cut them if you need to readjust. Um, it's just a little folder in here. This would be the start of your weekly view. And of course this cover is not attached to this little booklet so when you're finished with this you can take this out and put another one in and you don't have to worry about messing this one up. You know it's not stapled or anything. So your weekly view, this is your little um, today bookmark. This is laminated. And your weekly view will just, you have Saturday and Sunday on one side. And I just have the little water intake that I put down. And I have the same thing in mine also. That really comes in handy, even though I don't really use my water intake. Alright, so you have, let's see how many weeks you have, because I totally did not count this when I'm, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, twelve weeks. So you have plenty of weeks in there to work with. All right, and that this is the back cover to your little booklet, your weekly view. And you know you can take these out or put pictures in them. And I did put, I cut out on my um, silhouette family. You know you might can put a little picture in there, which would be cute. 
and these little things that I put in here, you can take those out and move these around. I didn't tape these down to the um, scrap paper, but I did use some spray glue and I glued that down. This next insert, um, I usually make it my to-do, but you know, you guys can do whatever you want to with it. Uh, I like graph paper because in my to-do, and I, I'll show you really quickly, I just used some of the stickers from Michaels because I love their stickers. So I kind of set mine up like this. But um, like I said, you can do anything in there you want. I just like the lines because uh, I like to keep my stuff straight when I write. And this one is not attached either, so when you get finished with this craft paper, you can add more in it or a different kind of paper that you like. Um, and this moves around. This little sticker stays on. And there's another little sticker. Um, I thought it was up here. Oh, right here on this folder. That is another sticker that came with the paper pack. And let's see. After your weekly view, you have the other side of this acetate paper. Uh, no, that's the beginning. This is, let me see. Yeah, this is another piece right here. Sometimes these can get a little confusing when you look through them because there's so much stuff in here. Now this right here, I put this for a um, sticky pad holder. So if you can look, let me show you really quickly in mine. I can find it. This one that I got from Michaels is an actual book made for this. They um, came just like this. And I did one in my daughter's, but I made it just like this one. So you can actually put some sticky pad, notepads in here. And I would recommend if you do that, I would just take half of this, unless you don't mind you know, putting a whole book in here, but I usually just take half and I put double sided sticky tape and just stick them down in there. So, I mean, you don't have to use it as that, but that's what I have in mine and it comes in handy when you need to um, just put a note somewhere. And this is just a little flower clip, paper clip. I'll put a little heart on the back. And that's the other piece of acetate. I feel like I'm saying that wrong, but I hope I'm saying that right. Now this book is not covered. This is just a piece of scrapbook paper. And this is just plain white paper. And I believe this is 28 pounds. Um, you can always put something right here. If you, would like, if you don't like that white paper. And this next one. Would be another. Um, sheet protector cover. So you can take this out. Because this is your check register. And I just added some little, a paper doily in here and a little butterfly. And you have, I made this book the same way. I, when I print these out, I fold them over and I tape these two together. And it makes that little book. I really I actually prefer that than books made like this. This is just where you fold the papers and staple them. I kind of like a made like this better. They're just a little bit thicker to me. So you have plenty of space to get you started on your check register. And then on the back of your check register, you have a monthly bill tracker. And this one is for the year. And I'm going to include another one with this one. Um, if you have more bills than this, you might want to use the other one on the other side. So <laughs> that's a lot of bills. but. Uh, you can totally put the other one I'm going to send on the other side of this. Or you can make a copy on your copying machine and you can print them out. Alright, this is just the back piece of your check register. And this comes out right here. This is just a little piece from the scrap um, paper pad. This is a folder. I like, I keep a folder with my... Um, checkbook register because I like to keep receipts in here so you have a little space to slide something down here it is a little tight and you can slide some in here and right in there and you have a little space on the back or you can put a coupon or something and then you have a little kitty cat 
um, a happy face and maybe, uh oh, you spent too much money on planner stuff. <laughs> so that comes with it too. I think that's really cute. And then you have a plain note, well, another graph notebook. Um, you can just make this into whatever you want to. And this is just a little butterfly sticker on there. This one right here is not stable to the cover, so it, when you're finished with this, you can slide this out and put more paper in here, and you can still keep this cover. And, of course, you can decorate this side um, with some more scrap paper. Just tape it down or glue it down. Um, there's another piece of acetate, and this insert right here is drawing paper, and I want to say it's 70 pounds, so this is a good for um, drawing or doodling. And this is the other side of the acetate, and I thought I just thought this was cute. This came off of the gift bag, and I had a hole in it for the handle, so I just put a little piece of ribbon. But I thought it kind of matched this theme and the colors in it. And you have a little eyeglass bookmark. I love these. These are so cute. I'm just going to stick that right there. Because this last insert, and you know what? I'm probably going to put something else right here on this one. Because this is just two books put on one on the last band. So I may put something else right in here. I'll... Let's see about that. But this last one is a um, journal. And this is coffee stain paper that I had from a while back. I keep a lot of this stuff on hand. And I love, this sounds silly, but I love the way this stuff sounds. <laughs> so you have a little journal to write in, a coffee stain. And you keep up with scripture or uh, just whatever you want to write in there. I just thought that was a cute idea to put in the back. Now these books are tall as you can tell so you can take these out and write in them but if I'm writing in the back of mine I'll just take something and um, kind of put under it and this is too tall for this. Uh, you know you can use it like that and you have another little pocket in the back. And that is pretty much it. I may, I don't know yet if I'll go in and stick something in between these two. I usually like to, um, but I'll see in the morning. It's almost 9.30 now and I really, I've crafted away today. <laughs> um, so that's a basically it. It has a lot of stuff in here. These are really fun to make. These colors really go good together and I like to keep a same theme in mind and this is just the way I do it a lot of people have different inserts in theirs and different colors but I'm kind of the type of person that I like my stuff to be the same theme and I know I've showed my, I have this kind of theme in mind that's another paper pad from Michaels so throughout mine that's what it looks like I just like it. I just think it's really cute to have all your stuff matching. That's just me. I'm a matching person. So, if you guys have any questions, um, like I said, I'm going to figure out how much all this probably would cost individually if I did sell it. Now, I probably will not make... I'm going to say I'm not going to make inserts for these because this is just like a starter. Um... If you really, really want the same insert, um, you can notify me and I may be able to print some out. But I was just basically getting you guys started on something because, like I said, somebody that gets this might want their monthly setup different or their weekly setup different. So that's why I made it so you could pull them out and put another one in because that's what I do with mine. Uh, I think that's all I wanted to tell you. Like I said, this is thin. And it's real, it's not really floppy, but it's just a thin vinyl feeling material. 
and it's not it does not feel like the really really cheap vinyl I came across some in Joann's and I think it was made for the inside of boats or vehicles and I mean it felt really hard and rough this is not like that but it is thin and floppy so um, don't expect a really leather feel to this but it's it's nice and soft I really like it and it's affordable so that's another thing I like and I believe that's it you guys um, if you would like a regular elastic cord instead of this I can put that in there just notify me if you purchase this and that's it that is the one that is ready to go ready to use and you can personalize it and add more stuff in it like I said um, the bigger the better I like them <laughs> that's just me so if you like chunky books that's this is a good one to have all right, if you have any questions, let me know. This will be on my shop tomorrow. I'll probably um, take a few pictures in the morning and put it on there while I sip my coffee. All right, guys, you have a good night.